Good morning. How are you? Good. And I know that you all were waiting for this moment. But we have some special uh, uh, important and safety and logistical reminders to share with you. The first one is that we will ask you to keep your mask in place, covering your nose and mouth for the entire liturgy. Uh, only briefly moving, movement will be when you consume the host. Church and PLC washrooms are only for emergencies. Should an emergency comes, we will ask you to wipe down any surfaces you have touched with disinfecting wipes that are, there are in the place. Through the Mass, we encourage you to follow along the order of service that you will find in the pews. That is uh, uh, very helpful for you to do the answers and to do everything that we are doing in the Mass. When the time to receive communion arrives, we will ask you to wait a little bit until somebody comes to your pew and give you a sign to come forward. And we'll, we'll ask you to keep the seats food distances between families in line. We will begin with the front pews. You are seeing the hand sanitizer, and we ask you to use that when you will approach the priest. So when you reach the front line, especially the children, we will ask you to be a little bit closer to Father Milora. There is a blue X on the floor in which we will ask you to be there. You will buy your hat and make your turn and wait for Father Melora to place the host in your hands. You will slowly go to the other side. There is one cross, one X in this side and the other side. It depends which you are. And when you get there, you will remove your mask and consume the host immediately. When you consume the host, you can return to your pews from the sides. And parents, after your child has received the communion, you will do exa exactly the same process. Being in the crust, receive the Holy Communion, and go to the side, consume the host, and go back to your pews. But remember, you have to use hand sanitizers before. And we ask you to not take photographs during the Mass. We do have a professional photographer here to capture these moments. And, um, Yes, we ask you to leave this sacrament. After the Mass, please wait for an usher to dismiss your row. We will begin with the back and move forward to the front. Be sure to take everything with you, including the order of service that you have in your hands. And we ask you to maintain social distancing uh, as you exit the building. At this time, make sure to your cell phone are silent and turn off and Mass will begin shortly. Good morning and welcome to St. Petronelle. Today we celebrate the Sacrament of First Holy Communion. Our presider for this Mass is Father Meloda, our pastor. Please stand.
Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Well, we come to celebrate your first Holy Communion, and we do so with great joy. You know, maybe it looks a little different than we had hoped a year ago, but that doesn't stop us from rejoicing in this wonderful gift that God wants to give us, the gift of himself. And so let us turn to him, preparing room in our hearts, calling to mind the times we have sinned, and asking the forgiveness of our loving Father in heaven. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have accomplished the work of human redemption through the paschal mystery of your only begotten Son, graciously grant that we, who confidently proclaim under sacramental signs the death and resurrection of Christ, may experience continued increase of your saving grace through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I'd like to invite you all to be seated. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to his people, Remember how for 40 years now the Lord, your God, has directed all your journeying in the desert so as to test you by affliction and to find out whether or not it was your intention to keep his commandments. He therefore let you be afflicted with hunger and then fed you with manna a food unknown to you and your fathers, in order to show that you, to sh that not by bread alone does one live, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of the Lord. Do not forget the Lord, your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, the place of slavery, who guided you through the vast and terrible desert with its seraph scents serpents and scorpions, its parched and waterless ground, who brought forth water for you from a flinty rock and fed you in the desert with manna, a food unknown to your fathers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Taste, Taste and, see and see the goodness, goodness of, the of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord, and the lowly will hear me and be glad. Taste, Taste and, and see the goodness, the goodness of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord. And he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Taste, Taste and see, and see the, goodness the goodness of the Lord. Lord. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard and from all his distress, he saved him. Taste, Taste and, and see, see the, goodness the goodness of the, of the Lord. Lord. A reading from the first letter of Paul to Saint, to the, of Saint Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because the loaf of bread is one, we, though many, are one body for we all partake of that one loaf. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to john glory to you o lord jesus said to the jewish crowds i am the living bread that came down from heaven whoever eats this bread will live forever and the bread that i will give is my flesh for the life of the world the jews quarreled among themselves saying how can this man give us his flesh to eat jesus said to them Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, are you excited? Yeah, because I am. Because it's a great thing to be able to give someone Holy Communion and even better to give them their first Holy Communion. So I'm excited too and I'm glad to hear that you are excited. Now normally at our first Holy Communion, I would walk up and down the aisles asking questions with the specific intent of embarrassing parents and grandparents. (laughs) I can't do that today because of our limitations, but I thought we would try a different procedure. So I'll ask questions and if there's someone who can answer, Raise your hand and then come down by the microphone and say your answer into the microphone. Try not to touch the microphone though, okay? All right, so first question. What is the square root of 356? Okay, no, 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 not math questions, not math questions. All right, first question is, what is First Holy Communion? Why are we here? Do you got the answer? Okay, sweetie, come on down and speak into the microphone. Eat the bread 
You can receive the bread. That's right. What is the bread, though? Jesus. Jesus. That's right. Jesus Christ, body, blood, soul, and divinity. Because he gives himself completely to us because he loves us so much. That's what we do. You know, we, when we love, we give our heart, our mind, our soul to that other person. Now, we have our Jesus makes an interesting analogy today. He talks about the bread of life, but what he's doing is referring back to a big miracle that God performed for the Israelites in the desert. You might remember Moses. Remember Moses? Who, who remembers Moses? Raise your hands. Okay, Moses. And one of the famous things that Moses did, a story we probably learned, one of the very first Bible stories we ever learned, was remember Pharaoh's chariots and charioteers were chasing them across the desert, and they came across the Red Sea. Right? Do you remember that story? Okay. And what did he do? What did God do to help save them from Pharaoh's chariots and charioteers? Do you remember? What did he do to the sea? You got it? Come on down. He parted the sea. He parted the sea, which is a pretty cool miracle, right? You know, I mean, have you ever parted a sea? No? Okay, maybe someday, okay? But he parted the sea so they could escape through the middle. Now, I'm going to, since you're pretty smart, I'm going to keep asking you questions. You ready? Okay. So after they parted the sea, the Israelites went through the sea, but then they went into the Sinai Desert, and they walked around. And you know, when you're walking around in the desert, you get thirsty. So Moses, remember, tapped the rock, and water came out. But they're also hungry. Now, this is a really, really tough question, okay? So if you get this, that's amazing, all right? So what did he do? What was the miracle that he performed in order to help them eat? Do you remember? I'll give you a hint. In the morning, they came out of their tents and they found something on the surface of the desert. Do you remember what it was? No? Okay, it's a hard one. Anybody else help him out? Okay, buddy, if you could go back, good job, you did great. This is a tough question, so I'm not surprised. But if you can go back and then we'll ask this young man to come around, you can go back to your seat, buddy, okay? There you go. go back to your seat. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so come right up to the microphone and tell us what was on the surface of the desert. Bread? Bread! That's right! It was called, it had a special name. Do you remember the special name? This, yeah. Do you? What is it? Manna? Ma Ooh, you're good. Wow. Okay, good job. You can go back. You fulfilled your your responsibilities. Okay, so the manna in the desert, and they just went and they picked the bread up, and they called it bread from heaven, manna. Okay? So Jesus today in the gospel reading is talking about the true living bread, and he's saying it's not just bread that appeared on the surface of the desert, which was real nummy, right? But, in fact, I am the living bread, and I'm going to give myself to you in order to nourish you so that you can have eternal life, not just physical life, but eternal life forever. And then, toward the end of his life here on earth, Jesus celebrated a special meal with his apostles on Holy Thursday. Who remembers what the name of that meal was? What do we call that meal that Jesus had with his apostles on Holy Thursday, the first, come on down, come on down, yeah. For us older folks, it's like being on Price is Right. Come on down. Last Supper. The Last Supper, that's right. And so Jesus, what did he take in his hand? He took in his hand something and he blessed it. What was it? Bread. Bread, and he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, and what did he say to them? Eat this as I. Mm. Yes. Mm. And this is? The bread. No, he said, you're close. That's a good guess. 
but he said something else that surprises us. He said, take this bread and eat it. This is my body, body right? And I give me it for you, right? And then he took something else. He took a chalice in his hand, and what was in the chalice? Wine. Wine. And what did he say over the wine? This is? My blood. My blood. And then he passed the cup around, right? Okay, very you did good job. You can you can go back. You earned your keep. Okay. So he said, This is my body with the bread. This is my blood with the wine, right? And because this is a tremendous act of love, and we know that Jesus' love for us is not fake. His love for us is not a symbol any more than your parents' love is a symbol because your parents' love for you is real, right? They do all kinds of stuff for you. Not only did they give you life, not only did they give you a house, a roof over your head, not only did they give you food, they give you a great education, and the list goes on and on and on, right? There are all kinds of concrete, real manifestations of their love for you, and so too for Jesus. And so that's why we believe and we know that this host is not just a symbol, but truly Jesus Christ. So when we come up to receive the Eucharist, Jesus Christ wants to be so close to us that he gives us himself. Okay? And that is nourishment for our journey through life until one day, many, many years from now, we're with him in heaven for all eternity, okay? So, I guess that's pretty important today, then. Are you guys ready to receive your first Holy Communion? Yeah? You raise your hand if you're ready. All right, good, okay. So the priest is gonna come down here. Today, it's me, so I'll stand here and I'll say, the body of Christ, and what are you gonna say? Nice and loud. Amen. That's right. And you'll put your hand out and I'll place it in your hand. You'll step off to the side, pull your mask down and put your host in your mouth. And then just before you come up, please sanitize your hands, okay? And mom and dad will be right there with you. And of course, they're welcome to receive Holy Communion too. If for some reason they're not going to receive, just cross your arms in front of you and I'll know to give you a blessing, okay? All right. So, you ready to do this? Let's do it. Let's stand together and offer our prayers and petitions. Got to turn off the microphone. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Church, may the Church feed us with God's Holy Word and with the Holy Bread of the Eucharist, giving us life eternal. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our parents and our siblings, our relatives and our friends, our godparents and our grandparents, that they may enjoy the gift of deep faith and peace in their hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the priests, catechists, teachers, and all who helped us in preparation for our first Holy Communion, may God bless them and bestow upon them the gifts they need for their happiness and salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the children, as they receive the Lord Jesus in the Holy Eucharist, that they may love him with all their hearts and forever live faithfully, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, especially Julie Knox, that the love of the Christ comfort them, heal them, and restore them to wholeness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our dearly departed, 
May the good Lord grant them mercy, forgiveness, and eternal life in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you grant all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept your sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Let us stand together. Celebrating the memorial of our salvation, we humbly beseech your mercy, O Lord, that this sacrament of your loving kindness may be for us the sign of unity and the bond of charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the Last Supper with his apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect, sacri- perfect praise. Nourishing your faithful by this sacred mystery, you make them holy so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God God of hosts, hosts, heaven and and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior Savior of the the world, world, for by your cross and resurrection resurrection, you you have have set set us free. free. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Benedict, our Pope Emeritus, and Ronald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us stand together. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have, have mercy, mercy on, on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I I am am not worthy that you should enter enter under under my my roof, but only only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. prepare to receive uh, Holy Communion. We invite you to form a single file line with each communicant and their parents in the center aisle, maintaining social distancing of six feet. You can see that the floor is marked with the appropriate tape. Please sanitize your hands before approaching the priest, and then uh, communion will be distributed in the hand. Thank you. Um, also, those who are in the PLC, communion will be distributed by Father Eduardo at the end of each aisle. We ask that you walk toward the minister in a single file row, uh, receiving communion, and then returning all the way to the back of the PLC behind the row of chairs that you just walked in front of, and then uh, your seat. Please don't go directly back to your seat. Walk all the way to the far end of the PLC crossover and then back up as to avoid you running into those who are coming forward for communion. Thank you. Blessed are those whose way is 
quantities of silver and gold. How sweet is your promise to my tongue, more than honey in the mouth. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in
Let us stand together. May sharing at the heavenly table sanctify us, Lord, we pray, so that through the body and blood of Christ, the whole family of believers may be bound together through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, it was a privilege to celebrate with you, and this is the first of many, many communions. So tomorrow when you receive Holy Communion, it will be your second communion, and then the third and fourth up until the millionth communion, and you have to keep count. Not really. You don't have to. You'll lose count probably after a while. But what a great gift, and a gift that you can receive so many times throughout your life. So we rejoice with you and remind, remind parents, uh, you certainly are free to take photos on the parish grounds if you would like. Um, we just ask that you not congregate uh, in a group. And then uh, remember too, uh, I think you've already received information. If you have not, you will uh, to, in order to be able to get a photograph of uh, your child receiving First Communion. Uh, that will be made available to you. You can also always contact the Faith Formation Office to obtain that information. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. I can make one, 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 I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, Rasmussen. Also, if you could just leave your pew down where you were seated, that's a big help to our sanitizers who come in after this event in preparation for the next. Thank you. Mm -hmm.